Now, with the lumbar spine, it's a little different because this requires the assistance of a co-surgeon who is an access surgeon, generally with vascular training. And the reason for this is we approach the spine from the abdominal space. So the general surgeon will help to get us safely down to the front of the spine, allowing us to complete the discectomy, meaning that we're gonna take the entire bad disc out, open that space up, and then determine the best footprint or the best size for the implant. There are trials that allow us to put a device into the disc space to gauge where it's gonna fit in the disc space, to determine the height and the width so that we can make the most use of the space and put the best size implant in for you. Some of these devices also require that we make a bone cut, allowing it to guide the implant into place. So once all of the prep work is done, the implant is inserted, and then we close everything up and transfer you back to the hospital table where you'll go to the recovery room. The surgery usually takes about an hour for a single level and about two hours for two levels.